Hello, I'm James, and welcome to the first Jonesing for Film theatrical review of 2012. Finally. Yes, The Grey, the new film starring Liam Neeson. So The Grey follows a group of oil riggers out in Alaska. On their way home, their plane malfunctions and crashes deep in the Alaska wilderness. Now the eight survivors must face harsh cold and a group of vicious wolves. Now if I was to sum up The Grey in one word, that word would be disappointing. Change to all right after some thinking. Let me explain, starting with the bad. First, the acting is not that great, aside from Liam Neeson. It's not my favorite role of his either, but he did his part well. Now, in a survival film, I expect mostly throwaway characters, but two, maybe three that I can relate with or care about. I didn't really give a crap about anybody in this, aside from Liam Neeson. The next flaw is the movie is close to two hours, and that consists of mostly the survivors sitting around a campfire, or them trudging through snow with a couple of wolf attacks thrown in. So yeah, the movie is incredibly slow. Now my next problem, and it's probably the biggest one I had, is the ending, which I have heard that people liked, and if you do, good for you, but me, I personally hate it. Now I have been crapping on this movie big time, but there are some things that I did like. First off, it did have two really intense scenes, one of which being the plane crash at the beginning of the film. Plus, even though it's slow, and believe me, it's slow, the purpose was to create tension, and at times it does, and when it does, it's really tense. But I still feel that it should have been a shorter movie. Once or twice when a scene started to drag, I found myself thinking, cut, cut, cut! Also, the scenery is filmed quite well. You can get a sense of how far up the creek these guys are without paddles, if you know what I mean. And the last point, it's neither a pro or a con, but more of a warning, really. This movie is rated R and fully deserving of that rating. The movie is very brutal, so if that isn't your cup of tea, stay away from this one. So after weighing in the things I liked and the things I disliked, I give The Grey a good. I really wanted to like this film more, seriously. But there was just so much weighing in on the dislike side that I couldn't give this a higher rating. In fact, initially, after leaving the theater, I was going to give it an average. But letting it sink in overnight changed my tune. I could see myself watching this in a few years and liking it a little more because I'll know what to expect. But as a first time opinion goes, it's only a good. So that was my review of The Grey. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit me on Facebook and check out my blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.